Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the new session on PowerPoint presentation. Myself, Dr. Tushar Kalra, MD Community Medicine. So today we'll learn about how to make an effective PowerPoint presentation. Let's begin our session. Our specific learning objectives are to learn the basics of how to make effective PowerPoint presentation and to understand the elements of effective PowerPoint presentation. Now, uh, what is a PowerPoint? It is a component of Microsoft Office package which combines text, images, drawing features and other objects. It creates interactive self-learning displays and we can also create dynamic and innovative presentations and presentations are made up of slides. Now why to use a PowerPoint presentation? The slides improve the delivery of spoken messages. It suits when the audience are large, enhance the range, the speed and the depth of presentation and provision of incorporating audio and video clip is also there in the PowerPoint. And full color capability makes the slide presentation highly absorbent. Now, uh, what is a five-step approach to prepare a PowerPoint presentation? So, we have to define the session content first, then we have to create the presentation, then we have to design the slides, then we have to fine-tune our presentation, then at last we have to rehearse, pack, and we have to deliver the PowerPoint presentation. Now, elements of effective presentations are novelty, it should be novel, it should have a utility to the audience, it should have a conversational value, it, has, it should have an emotional value and it should have an entertainment value. It should not be boring to the audience. Now, what are the tips for making a good PowerPoint presentation slides? So, we have to use sans serif funds, limit to two fund types, use minimum 24 point size funds, avoid the caps, follow the rule of six, and do not clutter the slide. Now, we have to use uniform color scheme throughout the presentation, and we can use the videos as well as animation, and we should have an, at last, we should have an idea of the venue. Now, using sans serif font, uh, there are two types of fonts, serif and sans serif. So, serif are used for printed words and sans serif for electronic media. So, serifs, uh, for example, are Times New Roman and Book Antique One. And sans serifs are, that are the, those are with without serifs, this, those are atrial and helvetic. Now, uh, limit to two font sizes. So, two different clear and reasonably bold font sizes should be there, one for the heading and one for the text. And layout should be appealing. Do not make it distracting. Now, use minimum. 24 uh, point size. Uh, the size and amount of text depends on the venue. 24 for the main text and 36 po uh, point for the title. And it may change if you want to highlight something important. And we should not duplicate the same text that we are speaking. Now avoid caps. Use low uh, use lowercase letters. The maximum presentation effect and improve reader comprehension. And capital words are represented in a rectangular shape in the eye, so it becomes difficult to read and it is less intuitive. And titles look better when presented in a sentence case. Now follow the rule of six, six lines per visual, six words per line, ensure relevant information reaches the audience and it, it, should, it, should, it should have less time consuming. And do not clutter the slide, only one idea or concept per slide should be there. Everything that, that needs to be spoken need not to be included in the text presented and we have to combine visual cues with verbal explanation. Colors. Use a uniform color scheme throughout the presentation. Limit the number of color region to, to a maximum of four per slide and avoid busy and confusing background. Videos, uh, they depict pictures as well as sound and it can be used to demonstrate a procedure for a real life situation. Animation, it should be only used sparingly to teach clinical skills. It increases our total time presentation and static graphics sh should be used to promote active learning. Now when you, uh, the size, the audience, and we have to test for appropriate lighting in the room and lights close to the screen should be switched off. So when you have to size an audience, this will deliver current presentation, uh, we should have a knowledge about that and we have to test for appropriate lighting in the room and light close to the screen should be switched off. Now key messages are use simple dark white background with dark letters, use uniform color and font scheme, use, uni use font size large enough to be seen from back of the room, follow the rule of six, follow the rule of 10 slides, 20 minutes and 30 font size and always have a backup plan. My references for this presentation are Principles of Medical Education by Dr. Tejinder Singh. Uh, thank you everyone. Uh, like, share and subscribe to my channel.